Hello everybody, this is Jurassic Adventures, and in today's video, we'll be doing a review of this brand new figure, the Mega Destroyer's Pentaceratops. Now this figure has been highly anticipated by a lot of people, including myself, because it is the biggest Ceratopsian they have done so far. But now they are finally hitting shelves, I got this one at my local Target, and they are starting to show up, and I believe they are also online on Target as well. So if you want to pick up one of these figures, it's 20 bucks, and it's at Target or on Target.com. Now, without further ado, let's go over the box. Now, the box is the same as all the other um, Mattel figures from the Dino Escape line. We have this logo right here. And then um, this one, because it is not a Camp Cretaceous species, it has a little bit more of that red, orange type color tone. Uh, same with the sunset in the back there. And uh, you have blue instead of Toro and the Camp Cretaceous crew. Um, here we have a demonstration of the action features and then the Mega Destroyer's Pentaceratops. And I really do like the packaging of this line. Now, if we flip the box around, we have a render of the Pentaceratops doing its action feature. It says Mega Head Strike and it's demonstrating how that works. And then we have the breakout of the capture gear right here. And then we have the other figure from this wave, that being the repainted Mega Destroyer's Carcarodontosaurus in that sort of blue and orange color scheme. Um, I don't know if I'll be picking that one up, but it looks pretty decent actually, so not bad. But without further ado, let's get this figure out of the box. So now we have the figure out of the packaging and we can get a better look at it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to take an in-depth look at the figure. As you can see, the head is very textured. There's a lot of nice scale and pebble detailing on there. This head is actually made out of rubber as well. I'm pretty sure that's primarily for safety, but it does give it a really nice real feel uh, type feel to it. And then it is pretty bendy. So I guess that's kind of neat. The main body doesn't have a whole lot of scale texture. It just has more of these sort of folds and wrinkles. But as we get down to the legs, you can see a lot of nice sculpted musculature as well as scale detailing. So overall, this figure is really nicely sculpted. For the paint job, I think this paint is a little bit lacking, but it's still pretty decent. Um, we have sort of these warm gray stripes and patterns that go from this body to the um, face and they make a pretty cool pattern. We have the um, bone white horns and beak. And then we have the eyes, which are just yellow with the black dot, which you see on most Mattel figures. Um, and then we have a bit of this sort of mocha underbelly, which is nice to see. I would obviously love to see more paint detail, but this figure overall still isn't bad. Now for the articulation. On this figure, there is quite a bit of articulation, which is nice to see. The head is on a ball joint, so you can move it side to side and then down a little bit and then up a little bit as well. But um, the up and down range of motion isn't that great, but the side to side is quite nice. And then for the neck right here that is connected to the action feature, it'll move up and down, but we'll go over that later. Uh, for the front legs, we have forward, back, and then to the side. For the back legs, we have the same forward, back, and then out to the side but then we also have this ankle which i'm not quite sure why it's there but i guess it's nice to have and then for the tail it's just your standard ball joint that can move all around so before we go over the action feature we'll need to put on the capture gear what we're going to do is we're going to take the capture gear and then we're going to put it uh, behind the frill and then just like that it lines up and it is on the figure now this figure has two buttons on top and what you can do is you can move uh, the first one is a head up and as you can see it's already breaking out of the capture gear which is pretty cool and then this second one is it moves the body to the side now this doesn't work as great on a surface as you can see because of it's just too much resistance on the legs but if you move it up a little bit it works decently so not bad but um one complaint I have is because of the action feature, the head tends to just stoop low. And I've seen other people's where their head can actually just uh, stay up like this if they like have it pressed in. But um, mine doesn't do this, so that's kind of a bummer. But it's nothing a little bit of putty or toothpick can't solve. So here's the Pentaceratops next to Alan Grant, and as you can see, it is pretty large and that is good because this animal is supposed to be large 
and I just really wish that Mattel would have made more Ceratopsians of this size. And then here we have the Pentaceratops next to the Wild Pack Zuniceratops and the Attack Pack Protoceratops. Here it is next to the Savage Strike Styracosaurus. Next we have this Aurorovorus Triceratops and while these figures are similar in length, this one is just not as tall or as bulky as the Pentaceratops, which is kind of sad to see. Uh, the Triceratops really should be a very similar size to the Pentaceratops, so I would definitely like to see Mattel make a bigger Triceratops in the future. But now here it is next to the Cynoceratops, and as you can see these ones scale pretty decently as the Cynoceratops previously was Mattel's biggest Ceratopsian. And then lastly, we have this dual attack Nasutoceratops. And then here it is next to a personal favorite, that being the Mega Destroyer's Carcarodontosaurus. As you can see, they are pretty similarly sized. And then lastly, here it is next to my Epic Roaring T-Rex custom of the buck from the Lost World Jurassic Park. And as you can see, the T-Rex is obviously bigger, but the Pentaceratops is still a worthy opponent for the T-Rex. For my final thoughts on this figure, I really do appreciate that Mattel made a Pentaceratops. It is a very unique species, yet it is very recognizable, and I really like that it is in this um, scale and it is this big, because now we have a big Ceratopsian, which is always awesome. I do really love the capture gear and the action features as well on this figure, and everything is just really great about this figure. I've really liked the Mega Destroyers line, and this is a great addition to that. As always, guys, if you enjoyed this review, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Jurassic Adventures, and I'll see you in the next video.